Kia ora, Vanessa. No mai hoki mai. Great to see you again. Oh, wonderful to see you. And now we get you to shine and not just your sister. Kōrua. <laughs> Ko koe kairunga. So it's all about you today, Vanessa, and I believe you've got a really cool tip for us. Yeah, well, what we're going to do today is the concept of double dinners. So we're going to spend one evening making two dinners. So the following evening, you can just sit back, relax, and you've got dinner. Kare tu atu tena, that's so perfect. That's the theory. <laughs> so let's talk up these beautiful dishes. What are we making? Right, the first meal we're going to make is a curry chicken pie, and it's full of hidden vegetables, so it's going to have a kumara mash with broccoli, spinach. Uh, second meal, we're going to do your popcorn chicken. So it's going to be little bits of popcorn chicken. We're going to serve it with uh, some kumara veggie bites. So once again, full of all those veggies, a little bit hidden away from the kids. Ko koe te matanga e hoa. You are right onto it when it comes to exactly what we need, actually. So what do we need to do first? All righty, so first thing we're going to do is make the crumb that's going to go on the top of the pie, as well as for our popcorn chicken. Ah, na whaiano. So I get it. So you're making one lot of things, and then you put it in both dish. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So popcorn chicken is traditionally little pops of chicken, but we're also going to use popcorn in uh -huh. our crumb. So a little bit of fun. Kids love popcorn. And literal popcorn mm, chicken. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to put 50 grams of popped popcorn into the food processor, 85 grams of regular breadcrumbs, and a couple of tablespoons of, today we're using Cajun spice, but you could use any spice mix really. And so then we're just, we're blitzing it up? We're blitzing it up to get it as light breadcrumbs as we can. So it might take a couple of minutes to blitz it up. Kua pai tēnā, does that look how you want it to look? Perfect, so this is the consistency you're after. Pai te kakara e hoa. Smells good too. Yeah, a little bit spicy. Like it. I like how it looks too, it just looks like it's going to be delicious. And... Perfect, so this is going to be the crumb for the top of the pie, but it's also going to be the coating for the chicken, so. Tēnō koe e hoa. Nā, me whakarite tāu e ngā hua whenua, so we're up to veggies. Right, so yeah, we're going to start the, uh, the curried chicken pie filling. So we need the carrot peeled and diced small. I'm going to cut the onion. Garlic, I use quite a bit. Um, I like to use about four cloves of garlic. So what would you like me to do now? So, um, today we've used chicken thighs. You could use chicken breast. I just find the thighs are... Um, just more tender, a little bit more delicious. Okay. Um, so I try and trim off the, the excess fat and then just chop it into bite-sized chunks. Okay. Pretty easy. So this is 500 grams of chicken, mm -hmm. so enough for four. So what are you going to do first? We're going to sauté the carrots, the onions, garlic together and a little bit of olive oil. Vegetable oil would be fine as well. And what we want to do is just soften, not necessarily brown, just mm -hmm. soften, especially the carrots. A bit of fattiness over here. So that'll probably take five minutes. Next, we're going to add the curry powder, so a couple of tablespoons of curry powder. After that, we're going to put the chicken in just to brown and sort of cook off the fat a little bit. After that, 200 mils of chicken stock. 200 mils of full fat cream, and then finally um, a tablespoon of the whole grain mustard. Now we need to turn the oven on, so about 180. We're going to pour our pie filling, and then we're going to get started on a kumara vegetable mash. At the hua o te tsuku ki te umu, so why do we need to bake it? Um, so we, we need to cook the chicken totally through. So at the moment, the chicken's probably only just partially cooked. And we also want to get a nice crispy topping for the pie. OK, so you really just want to chop the kumara into even-sized pieces. Not, not too small. In the mash, we're going to put broccoli and spinach. Nice. Nā, kai te tunua te kumara me te puana ni. So we've got the kumara and broccoli going. So while we're waiting, we might as well start on the popcorn chicken. So we've got our breadcrumbs we made earlier. Aye. And we have the same amount of chicken thighs, so mm -hmm. 500 grams. Same thing, we're going to just trim the fat and chop it into bite-sized pieces. First thing we're going to do is put about 50 grams of flour. Okay. And all we want to do here is just coat 
the chicken with flour. And you're going to put the lid on, give it a little shake. Yeah. Something the kids could definitely be doing. Avocado pie, huh? Such a good idea. So we just want it covered. So now we're going to throw in the egg and do the same. Definitely easier than the... Yeah. You know, and no mess, one container. At this stage, you might need to just give it a little stir around. So you're probably thinking now that how is it going to work? But it will. So now we've got our breadcrumb and we want to keep some of this for the topping of the pie. Kei te whakamiharo tia koe hoa. I am amazed at your great idea. This is so handy. I'm definitely going to do yeah, this. Definitely. So we're going to put the popcorn chicken aside. We're going to finish our pie, get that in the oven. The broccoli, ready to go. We're going to make the hunaya. So these are the greens that are being hidden in there by blitzing them all up. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm using frozen spinach. Um, when you defrost it, it's actually full of water. So mm. clearly, we don't want that. I I mean, I think that looks good. So, we're going to use the same pot. We're going to melt the butter in the pot. Oh, uh, about 50 grams of butter. How's that? Looking? Perfect, perfect. Get mashing. Penu penu here. Put our veggies in. Oh, it's going to be a nice combination. Mm. Just mixing the veggies through. We're just going to put little balls of the kumara and veggie mash, and then we're going to smooth it over with a fork. Top it with our beautiful crumb. We are not that we name me, so all we have to do now is put it in the oven. Absolutely. So about 30 minutes. Kapaite nei hoa. So this is all sort of coming together now. So. Yeah, we're not not long to go. So we've got the other half of the mash. All we're going to do now is roll these into little balls mm -hmm. and put it onto a baking tray that we've sprayed with oil. So we can throw them straight in the oven as is. Let's rescue that pie. Okay. Mmm, beautiful. Now I'm going to get you to move the balls up into the top tray. So what are the steps from here? Okay, so I'm going to cook the popcorn chicken. The tip is not to have the oil too hot, otherwise you're going to burn it very quickly and the chicken's not going to cook on the inside. The other tip is to cook it in batches. So we're going to do half, Place it on the uh, paper towel to drain, and then the other half. Hey, Timatanga, so to start with, tell me how you're going to serve up the popcorn chicken. Okay, so the popcorn chicken we're going to serve in little bamboo cups. We're going to put the balls in a platter, and we're going to serve it with the sour cream dip. And what about when it comes to our gorgeous curry pie? Well, all the pie needs really um, is a crisp green salad, but you've got to remember we've got the veggies, we've got the kumara, so the carbohydrates, we've also got the chicken and the cream. So it is a one pie wonder. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Think your kids would be into it? Definitely. Okay, what do you Better not forget the yummy vegetable balls mm. as well. Pop those in the kids' lunch boxes. Mm. Nice fun way to eat veggies. It's got a little bit yeah. of different texture. Mm -hmm. They look sort of like chips on the outside. Koya put the poor parade. It would be perfect for Friday night, and then everyone feels like, oh, we're having like a movie night. Takeaway that's not takeaways. Oh. Absolutely. And then on a Sunday night, which is a perfect time mm. to have something sorted, Absolutely. we have our pie. Definitely. Curry going on. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. Mm. Mustard, mm. curry, cream. But got that really nice richness and depth and really filling. Yeah. Definitely, definitely Sunday night dinner. High five. Single bite. <laughs>